Hi, I'm Mary Matz, creator of Twisted Yarns. Today, we will be crocheting a pair of men's mittens. While the mitten features a ribbed cuff and gusseted thumb, it is crocheted in one continuous piece. And in honor of my home team, the Chicago Bears, I chose burnt orange and navy blue to show you how to create accent stripes and carry the yarn on the inside. The companion pattern is available by following the link in the description below. Start with a single strand, form a slip knot, and chain 15. With the chain facing you, work one single crochet in the upper loop of the second chain from the hook and in each chain across. And here's our last one and we're putting it right in and doing our single crochet. Isn't that nice? So we should have 14. Okay, now we're going to chain one and turn. Now, look at the two loops on the top of the single crochet. The one that's facing you is the front loop. The one that's away from you is the back loop. We are going to work a single crochet in the back loop only. One. There we go. See how I insert my hook in the back loop only and work a single crochet. And we're going to do this all the way across the row. Now when you get to the end, you'll see right there. And that's where we put our last single crochet. Now we chain one and turn yet again. In the very first single crochet, we're going to put another single crochet in the back loop only. And what this does is it creates a ribbing. When I reach 27 rows and have completed it, I will join you. When you get to the end of the last row, you're going to finish the single crochet and chain one and turn. This is an odd number of rows, but I want to show you. I'm going to fold this up and bring it up next to this edge. Now I'm going to zoom in so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now this is pretty tight. So on the beginning edge of the whole piece, we're going to pick up the first, the top loop, and then we're going to go to the back piece, which is the just finished row, and pick up the back loop and then slip stitch it together. Let's do it again. In the next stitch, the top loop and the back loop of the just finished row. And you're going to go all the way down because I want you to see what happened. So let's just do it and I'll meet you when I get to the end. So the top loop of the last stitch and the back loop of the last stitch on the other side. Okay, we've just slip stitched it together. Now we turn it inside out. And do you see how that seam, it's right here, just disappears. So now we're going to chain one and we are going to work one single crochet in each row around. So, in this stitch here, I want to make sure that I pick up at least two bits of yarn and do a single crochet. Then, in this side here, a single crochet. Always make sure that you bite into at least, see that's only one, it would cause a hole. And on mittens, you want to make sure that you grab a little bit further down. And it's important that you do that because see how nice and closed that edge is? Now we're switching over to the blue. And what you want to do when you're doing this, so you have little weaving in, you're going to hold your burnt orange color back and your next color, you're going to 
insert your hook into the very under the top two loops of the first stitch and you're going to pick that up and pull through all the stitches and then snug that up really tightly okay and chain one and this is tight so I'm working right along this edge and working one single crochet into each stitch around mark both sides of the mitten one over the seam and one on the opposite side these are guides for shaping which will start on row two this is the side with the seam and this is the other side the side with the seam will be on the outside of the mitten side without the seam will be where we start the gusset for the thumb I'm going on to row two and I'm going to try something a little bit different instead of slip stitching in that stitch I'm just going to work a um, single crochet where I started and just continue around so it's a spiral okay so here I'm going into the last stitch of the round so I'm going to put two stitches there for row three work one single crochet in each stitch but for row four put two single crochets over the seam marker so I'm going to slip stitch the only time that I'm slip stitching is when I'm ending the stripe color so I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch just like usual but instead of picking up the blue I'm going to drop the blue off or the color that I'm using I should say cross it over the rust color or the burnt orange and then slip stitch was tight slip stitch only now will I do a chain and now I moved the blue to the back again because I don't want it to show up on the be on the outside I want to carry my yarn on the inside and I'm going to chain one and in the next stitch I'm going to work a single crochet this is an important row because this is where we establish the gusset when I'm right over the marker I am going and I'm right over the marker can you see that line up there right up there okay I am going to work two single crochets in that one space and I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to move it up right underneath it because I want to make sure I spot it on the next row so that's where my increase is can you see the two stitches in the one stitch very good now I'm going to continue one stitch in each stitch one single crochet in each stitch until I get to the end in the last stitch or the second to the last stitch that's where I'm going to do a an increase on the other side because I'm shaping the hand so that it starts to come out over here just a little bit on the outside edge and that's where the seam is and um, the gusset is going to be starting to go right in here so you'll see in just a minute what I'm going to do I'm just doing another increase there and this is a very easy pattern and why I call it an easy pattern is because if you goof up the increases just a little it's not going to make too much difference it's a good practice project okay now I'm two stitches away there's my slip stitch right there so I'm going to finish this stitch and in the last stitch of the of this round I'm going to place two one single crochet and then a second single crochet but because this is where I carry my yarn I'm going to cross over to the front the non-working yarn the one that I want to carry and I'm going to complete that single crochet then I'm going to cross the yarn that I'm carrying back underneath the other color and now I'm just going to go into the next stitch and start working the next round and it makes a very smooth transition and now I'm doing spirals until I get to another color change you won't do any more increases on the side with the seam it's just marked there so you know where the beginning and the ending of the row is it's the other marker that's going to count 
in the stitch before. Now this is the stitch with the increase in it. Do you see that? In the stitch before the increase, or the first stitch of the increase, I'm going to work two single crochets. Then I'm going to work one single crochet right in the center of the increase, and then I'm going to work two single crochets in the next stitch uh, on the other side of the increase part. See why I marked it? So it's a two single crochets in this stitch, one single crochet dead center, and then two single crochets in the next stitch. And then I'm going to continue to the end of the round. Now there's my marker. And this marks the beginning of the round. Now, what do we do at the beginning of the round? We just complete the round. Okay, now, I'm pulling that stitch up and I'm right over where the yarn is. So, I'm bringing it forward, finishing that single crochet, and then bringing it back. I'm just carrying the yarn. And do you see how I get such a nice little trail up the inside of the mitten? And nothing's going to get snagged on that. No fingernails, no anything. Okay, so now I have my little teeny stripe. Now I'm on the third round of this stripe. And I'm going to do exactly what I did before. So I'm going to work one single crochet in each of the stitches until I get to over the gusset, where the gusset is. Here's my increase right here. There's two stitches coming in there. So I'm going to work my single crochet in the next stitch. This is different than the last row. And then I'm going to work two single crochets into the center of the, deep, of the increase in the row below. Then I'm going to work even until I get to the center of the next increase, which is right here here, this next stitch right here, because you can see two stitches coming out of it. I just put one in that one. Now I'm going to put two into this one. So, all of a sudden, I'm getting more and more stitches between the two sets of increases, and that forms the gusset. And then I'm going to continue to the end of the round. I'm going to repeat that round until I get the right number of um, stitches on my round. And it depends on the size. If you want, you can take your little markers and mark those stitches so it's easier to count. I would mark right where you're putting the increase. It'll be a visual reminder, but it'll also make it easier to, for you to count in between in case you lose track. Place two single crochets in the first marked stitch. Then, one single crochet in each stitch until the next marked stitch. Work two single crochets in that marked stitch. If you want, continue to move your markers to the center of the increase. Technically, that is the second stitch of each set of increases. As you can see, you are gaining two stitches each row. One is added outside the marker, but only one stitch is added between the markers for the thumb, which we are counting. So we have reached the point where we have 15 stitches between the two markers. Now, what we're going to do on this next row is divide for the thumb and the hand sections. So we're going to just work across one single crochet in each stitch up until that first marker. And then we're going to work, well there's right up to the marker now. In the one with the marker, we're going to work one single crochet, not two. And we're going to take this marker and move it up to the edge row. Now, do the same thing and work across the 15 stitches 
and we're there. And we're going to work one single crochet in that marked stitch. And once again, move the marker just up one to the outer edge. Because I want to pinch these two markers together. Because what we do on the next two stitches is quite important because that's where we join. And we join it so that we don't have to tie in some new yarn and sew it and have to weave in the ends. Hold the stitches that are marked together. Now we're going to continue along and join the next two stitches. So in the side, but we're going to do this in a special way. So in the side that's closest to you, this is the next stitch right here. We're going to insert our hook and pull up a loop like we're going to do a single crochet. Then we're going to hold our yarn to the back. And in the next stitch on the back, insert our hook under both loops. Now this one already has a single crochet on this round. So all we're going to do is insert our hook under those two loops, yarn over, and pull through everything like a slip stitch. So we actually accomplished a single crochet on this side and a slip stitch on this side. So now let's go on. So in the next stitch, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to insert on the side closest to us and pull up a loop as if we're going to do the first half of a single crochet. Then go over here to the back side and insert under the next two upper loops of that next stitch and yarn over and pull through all three loops. We've just joined it. So all we have to do now is push that back side away from us because we're going to continue around this edge of the hand. And by all we're going to do is work one single crochet in each stitch to the end of the round. And work one single crochet in each stitch. Count the stitches after the first row. There should be 38 stitches for size medium. If you find you have too many or too few stitches, make the adjustment by gradually decreasing or increasing over the thumb on the next few rows to get back on track. Continue to work one single crochet in each stitch around the hand section, making your color changes as you progress. When the hand measures three and a quarter inches from the crook of the thumb, move a marker to the beginning of the row and then one to the edge on the other side. You are ready to shape the top of the mitt over the next nine rows. On the first row, work one decrease over each marker. You do this by pulling up a loop in each of the next two stitches and pulling through all three loops on the hook. This is a single crochet two together. Then work one row even. You will repeat these two rows once more. You should have 34 stitches left when the four rows are done. Now for the next four rows. Decrease four stitches evenly spaced each row. But Try to avoid placing a decrease directly over the decrease in the row below. When these rows are finished, you will have 14 stitches left. Finish off by working a single crochet two together around the entire row until you have only four or five stitches left. It actually flows a little bit further than this last row. Just pick up the front loop of each one of these stitches around and I'm just going to pull it up. And that drew the mitten together at the top. We are now about ready to return to the thumb and complete the thumb. And we have two more inches to go for this thumb. Now the thumb is actually not two inches long because when you come and slide up along here it's almost three inches long by the time we finish it. But we've already built part of the base of the thumb when we made the gusset. We're going to insert our hook under the one on this side of that junction, pull up a loop, and chain one very tightly with one strand of yarn. Now I'm laying my yarn along the upper edge, my yarn tail, 
along the upper edge because I'm going to weave it in as we go. And I'm going to go back under the same two loops of that uh, same stitch and pull up a loop. Then I'm going to jump over to this side and pull up a loop in that one. And I'm doing it very tightly. And then I'm going to yarn over it and pull through all three loops on my hook. That is a decrease. So I just decreased at the thumb, at the crook of the thumb. So now I'm just going to work one single crochet in each stitch around. And that should give me my 18. Before you begin row two, mark the outside edge of the thumb. So I have my 18 stitches. On the next row, I'm also going to decrease again right over the decrease of the row below. There you go. And see how nice and firm that is? And I'm going to work one stitch in each stitch around. So now I'm going to have 17 stitches when this, sti this row is completed. If you're working a different size mitten, the pattern tells you how many decreases you'll do at a given point. But this is the concept. This is for the medium man's mitten. For rows three and four, work one single crochet in each stitch around. I'll meet with you then. Well, it's time to change colors, but I'm going to end off this color because I only have six more rows to go. Attach the yarn with a slip stitch in the same stitch where you end it off. Then chain one tightly. Now I'm going to go back into the same stitch, pull up a loop, pull up a loop in the next stitch because I'm doing a decrease at the crook of the thumb again. I'm back into decrease mode. And then I'm going to do a decrease on the outer edge also right here. Work one single crochet in each stitch until you get to that outer edge. So I'm going to insert my hook in the next stitch and into the next one and pull up a loop in each, pull over and yarn over and pull through all three. So I did a decrease. Then I'm going to continue to move around this thumb. On the next round, work one single crochet in each stitch around. So on this particular row, I'm going to decrease one at the crook and one on the outside edge again. And that's very easy to do. My next row is a row of evenness again. So I'm just working even on this row. And I'm in back at the crook of the thumb. So now, now I'm going to do rapid decreases. And so on this row, I am going to do a decrease. And then I'm going to work a single crochet in the next stitch. And repeat this three more times. You'll end with one more single crochet at the end. All I'm going to do for my last row is just do all decreases. You will have five stitches remaining. So just as before, cut the yarn and use the yarn tail to close the tip of the thumb. Now that you have a warm pair of mittens, all you need is some snow. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please take a moment to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications of upcoming videos and events. Happy crocheting!